guys, this is Feeder, and I just had an 11 hour day in the lab, woohoo, which means I should do something fun. So without further ado, next up in my complete unboxing series, I'd like to open the Malignant Amanita chest. And why I selected this one is because I heard there might be some interesting gems in here. Yeah, uh, we got some Nature's Prophet things, and yes, by the way, the taunts do come with gems in them. And uh, Queen of Pain gems are now out, so that's kind of new. Watch, um, I'm sure based on my luck from the last one, I'm not going to get any of those, but anyway, it will be a good demonstration for you guys. Okie dokes, go in here. And there are 10 items in this chest, so that is the number I will be opening today. Alright, let's start off with the Nature's Prophet Victory Jig. And Treants created, not the most um, swaggy Nature's Gem ever. It's a pretty cool taunt though. I already have that one, so I'll probably sell this one here. Okie dokes. Um, so what's going on? Death and Honor. For Juggernaut with towers destroyed. That's too bad. The Jug gems, at least last I checked, were pretty decent. I think all the gems have dropped um, because the gemstone cache now has. Oh, that one has Blade Fury damage, so that's pretty cool. Um, the gemstone cache now drops three gems at a time, so that has dropped the price of all gems a bit, but I think relative to other gems, that one is pretty good. Okay, this is a pretty cool taunt too. Trees created, ah, no kinetics. That's a shame. Those are really the uh, the prize from this box. It could make it quite worth it. All right, here's this Queen of Pain thing. It's gonna have like barracks destroyed, yeah, towers destroyed. That's shitty. Damn, I think my luck just disappeared recently. That's okay though. I think it's a good... This is good to sort of show you guys... War Crisis. I don't think I have that. I'm gonna have to put that on my actual Sven weapon, whatever that might be. I think this is good to show you guys that most of the time when you do unboxing, it's not a good idea. You are best off to go to the Steam Market and buy which items you want there. And um, you can open... Let's see, if Queen of Pain Wings are like $30, you probably can open that many chests without getting them that you would spend $30 on, because if it was on average likely that you'd get them by spending that many keys, then they would be cheaper. Oh, this is a cool one. Um, I might keep this. I don't think I have a... I don't think I have a PA weapon that's quite that cool. I kind of like this one, actually. I think that looks kind of snazzy. Sorry, side sidebar, but this is pretty cool. Very fancy. I'll have to think about that before I go listing my stuff. Okay, two more. And I think am I all through the taunts? Pretty cool weapon for disruptor. Found glimpsed enemies. I think I have one taunt left, is that right? Yes, come and get it. X. Pretty sweet. And there it is. Come on, Axe Gem. Axe Gem. Yes. <laughs> Enemy Skulled. Very nice. Okay, so this was actually one of my favorite chests. Um, I think the taunts are really cool. Just get a lot of happiness out of pressing the spacebar and seeing the heroes dance and sing or whatever. Um, but again, probably not getting, and I'll, I'll post, as I have been doing, a breakdown of what you put in and what you get out, or I should say what I put in what I get out, but um, I think in terms of happiness with the items here, I get a pretty good value out of this chest, but probably in terms of dollars, not. So now you know, and thank you for watching. I'm going to continue this series, so go ahead and subscribe if you want to see some more of these complete chest unboxings. And uh, go ahead and like the video if you enjoyed it. And if you didn't enjoy it, I always feedback is a great thing too. All right, everyone, happy Dota and have a nice evening.